with the NFL on everybody's mind with the Super Bowl coming up, I've decided to make my own NFL out of college football teams. So we have two divisions. We have the AFC, which is going to be the Big Ten, which is comprised of all of these teams, Duke, Florida State, Kansas State, Minnesota, Ohio State, Notre Dame, TCU, UCLA, and then Air Force, Michigan, Oregon State, Penn State, Texas Tech, Troy, Tulane, and USC. And then the NFC is going to be the SEC, Boise State, Clemson, Georgia, Fresno State, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and Washington, and then Alabama, LSU, Mississippi State, North Carolina, Oregon, Pitt, Utah, and UTSA. These were the 32 top teams in college football this year. So we're going to have our own NFL season with these college football teams and how the playoffs is going to work. I'm taking the NFL playoffs also. So the top seven teams from each conference will be going to the playoffs with the top seed getting a bye. And then we will simulate through those games and see who's going to be the college football playoff Super Bowl champ. I'm going to send to the middle of the season and I'll give you guys an update on who's looking like they're going to make the playoffs, who's probably locked to be in the playoffs, and who is probably not going to make it. I'll see you guys in the middle of the season. We've got a mid-season update in the AFC. We have USC in first undefeated. We have Ohio State in second undefeated. So as of now, USC has the bye. If the season were to end right now, UCLA in third, close. They're only one loss along with Kansas State, only one loss. Then we have Texas Tech, Michigan, and Florida State holding the last three spots in the playoffs. We have Penn State, Duke, and TCU right outside of the playoffs. They need to get up to that seven spot to earn a spot in the playoffs. And then we have Tulane, Air Force, Troy, Minnesota, Oregon State, and Notre Dame rounding out the bottom who have a four, far ways away from the playoffs, especially Oregon State and Notre Dame. They have yet to win a game all season. So that's what the AFC is looking like. Ohio State and USC at the top. Over in the NFC, we have Texas on top right now and would have the bye if the season were to end right now. And then we have Tennessee and Alabama right behind with only one loss along with Oregon only one loss. And then we have Georgia, Washington, and North Carolina holding the last three spots in the playoffs. And then we have Utah, LSU, and Mississippi State trying to fight for that seventh spot to get into the playoffs. Because if you make it to the playoffs, anyone can win. And then we have Fresno State, UTSA, South Carolina, and Boise State, Pitt, and Clemson rounding out the bottom. Clemson is a big surprise. I thought they would be able to make a playoff push, maybe even win the whole thing. But they're 1-5. in five. It doesn't look like they have shot even at the playoffs. So let's sim to the end of the season and see who made the playoffs. Here they are, the final rankings for the AFC. UCLA, they weren't number one or number two in the middle of the season, but they end up getting the one seed going 11 and one. So they will get a bye in the first round. And then the six other teams that will be joining them on the AFC side will be USC as the two seed, Ohio State as the three seed, Michigan as the four seed, Florida State as a five seed, Kansas State as a six seed, and the team who hadn't won a game when we checked in on them in the middle of the season, Oregon State makes a run at it, and they make it into the playoffs as the last seed. And over in the NFC, Washington is the team that came out on top and will be having the bye in the NFC. And then the six other teams will be Tennessee, North Carolina, Texas, Alabama, Georgia, and LSU to round out the bottom. As you can see on your screen right now, we have the playoffs bracket. On the left side, we have the AFC UCLA getting the first round by, and then we have Florida State versus Michigan at Michigan. We have Ohio State versus Kansas State at Ohio State, and then we have Oregon State facing USC at USC, and then over on the NFC side for the first round. Washington gets a bye, and then we have Tennessee 
versus LSU at Tennessee. We have Georgia versus UNC at UNC. And then we have Texas versus Alabama at Texas. Let's get started. We're going to do the AFC first round, and then we'll do the NFC first round. Here we go. We're kicking off the first game of the college football slash NFL season. The playoffs are started, and we have Michigan versus Florida State, and whoever wins this game will be heading to UCLA to take on the one seed in the next round. It's all tied up after one, seven to seven. This is looking like it's going to be a good one. Florida State's up three at the half on the road. Florida State continues to keep the lead as they're up a touchdown heading into the fourth. Can Michigan come back or are they going to lose at home? It all comes down to this. One second left. Michigan needs a touchdown to send this thing into overtime. If not, Florida State will pull it off in the big house. They throw it deep and it's going to get knocked down by Jamie Robinson and Florida State's going to hang on and they're going to the next round to take on UCLA. Here we go, the second matchup of the AFC first round and it's Ohio State hosting Kansas State. Who's going to pick up the dub and advance to the next round? After one quarter, Kansas State has held Ohio State to zero points. They're up three heading into the second quarter. The road teams are playing very well so far. Kansas State is up 10 at the half. Kansas State is still leading by seven. Ohio State's got to make a comeback or they're going to go out in the first round. It does not look like Ohio State's going to be able to come back as they only put up 13 points in front of the home crowd as they lose 27-13 to to Kansas State and Kansas State will be moving on to the next round. There's only one spot left in the AFC second round. Who's going to take it? Is it going to be USC or is it going to be Oregon State? The road team. The road teams have been hot so far in these playoffs. Can they keep it going or is USC going to win? After one quarter, USC has got the lead 7 to nothing. Both defenses came to play as it's still 7 to nothing going into the half. Oregon State picks up a touchdown in the third quarter to tie it up, so it's tied heading into the final quarter. USC picked up a touchdown in the fourth quarter. And it looks like they're just going to be able to run out this clock as they're up 14-7 to with only 30 seconds left. And Oregon State has no way of stopping the clock. They're headed on to the next round to take on Kansas State. Here we go. We're kicking off the NFC side with a great matchup. Tennessee and LSU. Who is going to win and advance? Let's find out. After one quarter, Tennessee's already built a double-digit lead. Tennessee builds up their lead to 14 heading into the half. LSU's got to pick it up in the second half or they're going to be done. LSU must have heard me. They came out better than ever in the second half. They're only down four and they have the ball heading into the last quarter. Fourth and goal for LSU. They're down 11 with 45 seconds left. They need a touchdown on this play and then they need an onside kick or this thing's going to be over and Tennessee will win. They're running a halfback screen. It looks open but they don't get the blocks, and Tennessee's going to stop them, and Tennessee will be winning and advancing to the second round. UNC hosting Georgia. The winner of this game goes on to face Tennessee in the next round. Who's it going to be? Who's going to keep their season alive? Fast start for Georgia. They're already up 17-0 after one quarter on UNC. It is not looking good for North Carolina as they go into the half down 18 They need a massive second half or they're going to be done. Georgia improves their lead to 20 heading into the fourth. UNC really did try to come back, but they fell just a possession short as they lose by 8, 29 to 21 to Georgia. And Georgia will be going on to face Tennessee in the next round. Washington is at home watching and waiting for the winner of this game. Is it going to be Texas or is it going to be Alabama? Securing the last spot in the divisional round of this NFC playoffs. Let's find out. Both teams put up a touchdown in the first. It's 7-7 after one. Alabama with the massive second quarter as they take an 11-point lead into the half. Bama keeps adding to their lead as they lead by 17 heading into the fourth quarter. Texas needs to pick it up or they're going to be gone. This one is all over. Bama's up 34-10. At Texas, 
Texas is going to be done, and Bama will be advancing to the second round to take on Washington. Heading into the divisional round of the playoffs, on the AFC side, we have Florida State heading to UCLA, and then we have Kansas State heading to USC. And then on the NFC side, we have Georgia heading to Tennessee, and then we have Alabama heading to Washington. Let's hop in to the AFC divisional round and see who's going to be taking on each other in the AFC championship. Here we go, the start of the AFC divisional round. We're kicking it off with UCLA taking on Florida State. Who's going to secure the first spot in the AFC championship? Let's find out. FSU coming out hot on the road once again. They're up 7 to nothing after one. FSU keeps it going. They're up 10 to nothing. UCLA has yet to score heading into the half. UCLA finds a scoreboard in the third quarter, and they're only down three with the ball heading into the fourth quarter. It looks like UCLA is going to come up just short as Florida State's going to be able to kneel it out with UCLA zero timeouts left, and Florida State's going to squeak by 17-14 to and get the first spot in the AFC Championship. With only one spot left in the AFC Championship, these two teams are going to be fighting their hearts out. Who's going to come out on top? Is it going to be USC, or is it going to be the road team? Once again, Kansas State. Both teams came out and scored on their first drive, but USC has a 7-3 to lead heading into the second quarter. The story of the game is USC's getting touchdowns. Kansas State is getting field goals. You can't win these type of games with field goals. USC's up 21-6 to at the half. Kansas State heard me. They found the end zone in the third quarter, and they have the ball driving in USC territory, heading into the fourth quarter, down one possession. 54 seconds left. USC has the ball. They are down four. Kansas State has came all the way back. USC needs a touchdown, or they're going to lose this thing. They drop back to pass, and they find Mario Williams across the middle, and they have the lead back. It all comes down to this. They got the ball on the 50-yard line. They got one play to throw it to the end zone. Can they do it, or is USC going to survive the comeback of Kansas State? It looks like they're going to get to Adrian Martinez, and USC is going to survive, and they're going to be taking on Florida State in the AFC Championship. Here we are on the NFC side now with Tennessee and Georgia taking on each other in Knoxville. Who's going to come out on top and get the first spot in the NFC Championship? Let's find out. After one quarter, Tennessee has found themselves up three over Georgia 10-7. to Tennessee gets a field goal in the second quarter and they're up by six heading into the half. Tennessee continues to play good as they're up 10 over Georgia heading into the fourth quarter. This one is all over as Tennessee holds on to their lead and they win 27-24 to over Georgia and they'll be heading to the NFC Championship. Tennessee's at home watching this game wondering who's going to win. Are they going to play on the road or are they going to play at home? If Washington wins this game, they will be playing at home against Tennessee and if Alabama wins, they will be heading to Knoxville to take on Tennessee. Let's find out who's going to come out on top. Bama comes out firing on all cylinders. They're up 14 to nothing after one. Washington's trying their best to come back. They've cut it to seven at the half. Bama comes out in the third quarter and shows them what they're made of. They're up 21 at the end of the third quarter. Washington's going to need a miracle. It does not look like Washington's going to get that miracle as they're down 28 with 44 seconds left, and they're punting the ball. So this one is over, and Alabama will be heading to Knoxville next week to take on Tennessee in the NFC Championship. Here we are in the conference championships. We've got Florida State taking on USC, and we've got Alabama taking on Tennessee. Let's hop into it. Let's see who's going to secure their spot in the college football Super Bowl. Who will be representing the AFC in the college football Super Bowl, will it be the USC Trojans or will it be the Florida State Seminoles? Let's find out. USC scores first. They're up three to nothing after the first, but Florida State's driving. Florida State took the lead in the second quarter, but USC got it back right before the half. They're up three at the half. Florida State's keeping it close, heading into the fourth, only down three, and they got the ball in USC territory. 
this could be the game. USC up seven with a minute 50, fourth and seven for Florida State. They need this first down big time. They're throwing it deep. Do they got a man? No, they don't. It's about it down. That could be the game. USC is going to win this thing as the clock is just going to run out, and USC will be representing the AFC in the college fo football Super Bowl and will be taking on the winner of this next matchup in the NFC Championship. USC awaits the winner of this game in the college football Super Bowl. Is it going to be Tennessee, the home team? Can they ride it all the way to the Super Bowl? Or is it going to be the road team, Alabama, fighting on the road to get the dub? Let's find out. Tennessee leads 7 to nothing after one, but Bama's driving. Bama ties it back up in the second quarter, and they're tied 7-7 to heading into the half. Bama now leading, heading into the fourth quarter. They're at 14-7, to and they have the ball. Tennessee has found themselves in a rough position, down 21-14, to needing a touchdown, but they have a fourth and 20, and it's going to be tough to pick up. And then Hooker drops back. He's throwing for the end zone, and it's caught by Jalen Wyatt, and they're in the end zone. It's all tied up. This one's probably heading to overtime if Alabama can't score. Tennessee has managed to get the ball back with four seconds left and a chance at another heave. Can they get another one to go? Or is this thing going to overtime? And then Hooker drops back the pass. He's slinging it downfield again, and it's caught. But he's going to be tackled at the four-yard line. We're heading to overtime. Here we are in like the fourth overtime. Tennessee scored their touchdown, but they didn't get the two-point conversion. And Bama, they will score this touchdown probably and then they will have a chance at the two-point conversion to win it. Can they get it? Here we go. This two-point conversion is for a spot in the college football Super Bowl. Is Bama going to get it, or is Tennessee going to keep their chances alive? Let's see what happens. Bryce Young dropping back to pass. He's going to take off, and he's going to take it in for the win as they beat Tennessee in Knoxville in Neyland Stadium. They're headed on to the college football Super Bowl to take on USC. Here we are, the first annual college football Super Bowl. The whole season comes down to this one game. The last two Heisman winners, Caleb Williams taking on Bryce Young. Who is it going to be? Who's going to be the first ever college football Super Bowl champion? Let's find out right now. USC finds the end zone in the first, but Bama's got the ball driving at the USC 16-yard line. USC has showed up and they're showing out. They're up 21 to 5 over Alabama heading into the half. The Alabama defense is standing no chance against Heisman winner Caleb Williams as USC takes a 22 point lead heading into the fourth quarter. Alabama showed up and got embarrassed. Bryce Young, embarrassed. Nick Saban, embarrassed. They're down 42 to 13 with a minute left, and Caleb Williams might not be able to win a college football playoff, but he can win a college football Super Bowl, and he's the first one to ever do it. Can Bama cap this thing off on a good note at least, or is it just going to be a struggle even more? They're going to get a touchdown late, but it does not matter because they're down by a million. USC is going to win this thing. USC is your champions, the first ever college football Super Bowl champions. I hope you guys did enjoy this concept. I just made it up because I was thinking about the Super Bowl this Sunday. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like and subscribe. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Help me out. I appreciate it. Peace.